Good evening. Welcome to the Public Safety Building Committee meeting. This meeting is being recorded for cablecast and YouTube presentation by Area 58 Community Access Media. The video of this meeting is not to be considered an official public record. Thank you. Alrighty. There's agendas, there's minutes, there's stuff up here if you need them. And apparently I didn't adjust the old business on the minutes that we need to approve. So we have 224 and 3-2. Let's start with 3-2. Does anybody have any amendments? No. Approved? No. Okay. Having none, I move that we accept the minutes as written. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, those are done. All right, minutes for March 2nd. I think you said March 2nd twice. No, the first one was... Um, 224. 224, yes. Okay. Ooh. Any amend amendments? No. No. I move we accept them as written. Second. Any all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Those are done. All righty. Um, did anybody get a chance to look at the annual reports that we wrote up? I forgot to give you a copy. Did you get a copy? I viewed them online. You read yeah, them online? Yeah. Yeah. The copy that I sent out had a few minor yeah, adjustments. Yeah, that's fine. That, that was absolutely perfect. So I looked at them prior to signing. Jake, a minute to take them. No, but look at them. I know normally we stop things as of. 1231, but I think given this project, it makes sense to be as current as we can. Yes. And you've noted that in the, in the, in the report anyway, so I think that's, I think that made sense. Yeah. I, I actually, when I wrote it, I was going on the fiscal year, not the calendar year, but what the heck. It's done. Um, any suggestions, amendments for the annual report? Does anybody out there want to see it? Did you see it? I've seen it. Um, I, I did, but I, it's okay. Yeah. No, I didn't see it, but you're okay. Trust your judgment on that. Okay, I move that we accept the annual report as written, as amended by John. It's got amendments on this page. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay, annual report's done. And you will forward that into brief tomorrow? I will. Or now? Tonight. Whenever. Thank you. Yep. Okay, um, a little bit of news is that Mod Space will not be able to join us next week. Um, there's, we're working on scheduling them for April. Do you have a date on that yet, Chief? I don't. Um, I can start a quick report on this. I spoke with uh, Ms. Allison Connors over at Mod Space. Uh, she did come up with a floor plan that she sent me a few days after I spoke with her. And uh, we tried to line her up to get her in here. I think it was this week or next week. They're booked through March. They have uh, projects and deadlines. It's their time of year. Uh, so I sent her back an email proposing a couple of dates, and she has responded that uh, I think it was the first Wednesday and the last Wednesday in April. Mm -hmm. And uh, she did ask that, um, she said thank you. She'll let, uh, they'll let us know what dates work once they're able to get the project manager and construction manager together to discuss it. And then uh, they're asking uh, how many people uh, will attend this meeting and what type of questions they'll have so they can be prepared beforehand. So uh, we have seven committee members, four advisors, usually at least one member of the public. Uh, you won't be here if it's the first week in April, but if it's the last week, you will be. Yep. Um, and then maybe just one or two extra copies of anything in case somebody else shows up. Okay, so I can advise who will be here, and uh, I guess if we come up with a, a list of questions of, or just give a general idea of what we might ask. I thought if, if we could come up with any questions tonight, that'd be great. Otherwise, we have a little time. We can take this home, take a look at it. And, uh, I think some of the uh, more important questions, uh, price per square foot. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a general idea. It's uh, 175 per square foot, um, obviously. With interest rates changing, uh, that could change, and other things in the economy might affect that. 
but um, I, I would probably want to ask him uh, exactly what that includes, uh, whether it's um, everything, uh, all the utilities, septic, well, I just don't know. Well, we have the septic, and hopefully the well is sufficient. But uh, I don't know how far they'll go to uh, with the site preparation. And I, I don't know what we'll take care of in beforehand, uh, the parking lot, the general uh, clearing, the site preparation. And I don't know how you all feel. It, it seems to me that if, if a through and through, two doors is better for you, Go ahead and ask for it, and okay. as John said, if, if these are things that we need to cut out because we're I mean, too high, there's nothing wrong with making a list off to the side, Chief, that says you know this is stuff that I could live without, but how's it yeah. benefit long term? I mean, this is this is a you know this we talk about it we talk about it as a 25 year building, but this is plenty. It's mm -hmm. going to be 40 years, yeah. perhaps more. more. So sure. you know, to, to 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 your question, we were chatting a little bit right before we started. You know, what are all the offices? You know the department will get a little bit bigger too, and and so you know this isn't a crazy sized building, but there should be some flexibility for yeah. you and your department, and when it's not your department and not your predecessor's department, to be able to move things around and be able to. Do I'd that. like to see a sally port added so that the cars are parked under there. They're out of the direct sunlight and out of the direct weather. Weather and snow. Uh, and we could repurpose that as well. Maybe get some solar panels on there and other uh, parts of the roof as long as that's aesthetically. Uh, so for Done. them, that would mean changing the roof line? It, it, it could be. We really haven't gotten a rendering of what the building would look yeah. like at this point. Yeah. We, we've got a rough idea from the, what we saw in Hamden. Mm -hmm. but, but I think we're also going to want to, I mean, you know, just like we did with the campus plan, you know, until you start to look at something, you really can't start to question what works and doesn't work, or yes, this works, but what else do we need to think about? So, you know, some of the things we probably just want to get ideas from Mod Space when we do have them here. And again, it's probably all going to be pretty high level because we're not at the point that we're, not, we're building the building in June. Right. You know, and we haven't had a chance to talk with anyone yet. But one of the things I immediately look at and say, well, you know, how, if, you know, it, it's, even though it's not a big building, it's a big building. I mean, it's roughly 60 by 100. Yeah. It's a and big building. So that's a long yeah. facade. So yeah. when I see a 100 foot facade, and I'm thinking about it sitting, I'm sure it's going to sit kind of this way here, you know, is there a way to, to you know, move it a little bit so it's got the and parts it, that and, are bigger and, and parts and that are small? Time that you break it, though, the expense of the model. But, but what, is, what does that do yeah. and how does that really yeah. impact cost and does that go to 180 square feet, does it go to 220? So that we can yeah. understand and find that balance because we certainly want to deliver the best building for the best value, but we also all have to look at it. Mm -hmm. Does the, uh, I mean, does the Sally Port lengthen the life of a cruiser for us, or? The Sally Port? I mean, uh, typically drives vehicles. I mean, the fire trucks last a lot longer being being inside all the time. Yeah. I, mean, I know cars. With police vehicles are almost consumable, uh, yeah. because they're going, uh, if not 24-7, then 18 hours a day. Yeah. So and we turn our vehicles over probably every four, four and a half, five years. Um, they're, they're just always going. That's they're they're out there. Fire vehicles sit parks right. for a majority of the time. Yeah. Uh, Sally port is so we can safely load and unload yeah, load. Uh, either prisoners into a paddy wagon or into an ambulance. And it's a secure area, so no one is trying to dash out the door like they could out here now. Uh, it's just a safer environment. There are other things you can incorporate into the Sally port. Uh, if, uh, you, you have plumbing out there with an eye wash center, so if you have to um, uh, spray someone with mace or OC, you can decontaminate them there, or the ambulance can come in and decontaminate them. Uh, other things, uh, minor storage, of uh, bulk items. The garage space is relatively inexpensive to build. Yeah. Right. I mean, sell it wise compared to the rest of the building. And that would be... Uh, Where's the ATV and the motorcycle? Well... <laughs> We, we have a Connex box out there, but if, yeah. if, if we increase the sally port, um, you could put a, uh, a chain link fence and, and have a secure area in there for a bulk, like bicycles. Uh, you could keep uh, that stuff in there, keep uh, road closure and barricade signs in there that we might need in a pinch. 
other things like that. Yeah. 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 Your, your flashing sign. Yeah. Right. Your radar sign. Yeah. I mean, this should assume that that isn't there. I mean, the, the plan should assume that we're not having any. You know, I think I said it. I think I that said being the Connex box. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, I we mean, could repurpose that town. They could use it as a transfer station or, or anywhere else. You know, we, we should be building. We own that for so. our needs. Right. Totally. Okay. And, 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 if, and if we get down and realize yeah. we can't afford it, then we'll take it out. But but I think if you do the math on this, uh, uh, and I'm going with it at 5,800 square feet at 175 per square foot, you're at 1.1 million, which is uh, where we started. And if they can keep it to that, I'm still skeptical. Fingers well, crossed. But there's some of that's got to be site work, though, that they can't do, I think, right? I, th I think it. We'd add on, like, another 500,000. Yeah. So we're still in, in the ballpark where we, mm -hmm. I think, where we want it to be. Okay. Any ideas or suggestions that I can suggest so that when they bring up uh, a presentation for us that you'd like to see besides a, an expanded uh, salad bowl? Because I'd like to see that, too. I'm glad that the presentation should be more that we can see the front entry, that what the general public is going to see and yeah. decide. I think that's going to be up to us. Yeah, right. Yeah, but right. some we can have I mean, that put to, okay. But with this sort of footprint, um, you know, this is this is this is basically four times the size of my house. Yeah. So that's going to be a big roof line. So I mean, I think we want to get some idea of scale. I think yeah. I think I will definitely ask. You know, what do, what is it? What do we do if we? You know, if we. So and I know it's going to cost more money, but if we squeeze in part and yeah. pull something out so that we have a cut, you know, if, if you break things up a little bit. Put something on it like that. When you break things up a little bit, even offsetting a little bit, it, it does a huge thing for the scale. Um, and again, if, if it's too much money, then that's that. But I definitely, I know I'll, I will ask them about that and, and get an idea of what that happens to their square footage costs and things. We don't want to go crazy, but enough to sort of break it up. Because, again, if it's sitting out here, and, you know, the, well, it's not even that. It's 100 and, 115, it, the length 116 is, feet long. Yeah, but it's the width that you've got to worry about, John. The width, it gives you your, your profile on your roof that enlarges yeah, yeah. that That's the thing. But you also think about it coming along here on the road. That's, you're going to have that long side facing you as well. And then, no, to your point, that yeah. width is going to also give you yeah. a bigger, taller yeah. roof yeah. and much more mass. That way there, though, we can landscape that 58 mm -hmm. that you won't see that. The solar panels will hide the whole roof. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we, and we should be looking at that, too. Yeah, I mean, I what, is, so. what is, have they, have they had projects where they've incorporated solar and... and you can put a flat roof on that. Or, or we... When you bring a roof down and South face or a couple of dormers, yeah, I don't know. There's any number of things like they did in the, um, you know, at that Cumberland Farms in, in yeah. Middleborough, right there by 44. Yeah. I mean, at 44 by 495. You know, that's a pretty big building too, and yeah. they did some stuff to the roof line to yeah. sort of make it not, even though there's, you know, they have dormers on it and things that make it fit. It almost has a southern exposure. You could put a second yeah. floor on this, John, and, and and diminish the length. Yeah. Just with a couple of dormers. And then you need a set of stairs, but, well, that, that's but you don't want to separate. Could we go up instead of just making the whole, whole building bigger? I don't think it's any ADA issues. Be, I mean, what yeah. could you put up? Could you put right. the evidence room upstairs? And that's true. Yeah, I, I yeah, guess we probably could, but the ADAs, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to separate your... Yeah. You're talking about a basement? So. Yeah, I'd like a basement, but um, that would cost. that would be us, not top on not the that many. Right, right, right. right. We'd be pumping water out of their cars to them. <laughs> so I think that I think those are some of the things that I think we'll talk about. And again, we're not I'm not we're not going to come out of a meeting in April with them with the final design of this. And to our discussion before with the you know about wh why we would hire the consultant. We looked at the consultant to help us a bit with this. You know, if you go modular, we want the consultant to be saying, "Well, if you do a couple yeah. tricks here and there, you can, you know, you can right. kind of to hear some of our concerns or our community's concerns about what the building will look like, to find a nice way to mitigate these things so that we get, you know, a decent-looking or a good-looking building. 
in a building that meets the department's needs mm -hmm. and the town's needs for a long time. But it's great to be able to see this. This is um, this makes more sense than that other plan we had. You know, yeah. It's more real. Yeah. Yeah, and this is, you know, it's deliver delivered in 11 sections. Yes, I, I didn't count them, but yeah, they're uh, So, I mean, conceivably, it could be five in one square and then just back it up in the other. Yeah, I think it's just. You know, something like that. It can be played with. I think they could play with it, too, and, and offset the building. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was trying, yeah. trying to say. And just break up the roof line and make it a little more aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Just right. <laughs> that too? I think like it's, an L? I think it's yeah. 17 sections. 17? Yeah, you could take off a, some of that 60 okay. foot front end so your roof won't be so tall. Right. So by taking out one row and, and just double it up on the back and hip it then. Yep. Yeah, so. so yeah, that's a 20 foot section you could take off and add to the back, and that would give you two different roof lines. Right. And already the building is. And then you have a little courtyard. And and where it's off the other the well, other side is where you could do your parking. The thing is, you've got to worry about your driveway if you start widening it <laughs> at 60 feet out. I'm not going to worry about that. The civil engineer is going to figure that out for yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, we're going to have to play with it. Yeah. But I think it's where we're you know moving in the right direction. So I would suggest that you take it home, and if yeah. you have any more questions, you can. Uh, I'm going to match it up to the map. Email them to the chief. Right? Yeah, please do. If, uh, any ideas, suggestions, questions, and then I can uh, I can relay them to the mod space folks. Uh, I, I guess I should mention a related note. I still have yet to hear back, and I made calls the same day to uh, the other modular company, the Modular Genius Company. They never returned uh, my calls. Hmm. Interesting. You can't be too smart, but can they? Well. Right. I, I do know when, when I spoke to Mod Space, and they said even if you don't go with us, we strongly recommend modular construction. So uh, they, 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 even if they're not getting a job, they, they're proud of the industry and they just want to get it out there that they are. Well, one of the uh, fellows by the name of Ted Benson who did stuff back on this whole house years ago, their timber framing and everything like that, he runs a huge company up in New Hampshire that does modular on a whole whole nother scale. Yeah. In court modular with timber framing. They did oh, a whole wow. they did a build a whole house in Weston uh, out of it. I mean absolutely unbelievable. And on the other end of the scale, they're doing small affordable houses modular um, that look really nice and have neat innovations. So I mean it's a it's a the, the building cruise ships modular now and aircraft carriers are filling them outside pieces, shipping them in and putting them together. So and um, just for general information, I also spoke with Alice briefly, and I did ask her if she um, did any, if they had done any fire stations. Mm -hmm. The answer was no, but I said, you know, why don't you do a little research into this, because this is something that eventually we may right. need. Yeah. So whether you can do, you know, the office living space or what. Just, uh, oh, yeah, you could do all the office out of them, watch over and just build yeah. the... Build the uh, so I asked her to look into it, and yeah, maybe she'll do that before our presentation. Sure yeah. Being back, we have less of a concern about that. Yeah. 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 Okay. All righty, so we're done with that, I guess. Um, I did talk with Dale today, and... We have received nine requests for information so far, and he'll start getting more information out to those people. And he's going to forward them on to Harry as they come in. So I guess after Harry gets them collected, then the uh, subcommittee can re-meet and start winnowing those. And I have an email from Dale also that says, the committee needs to determine the amount of the cons of the consultant for the warrant article, um, he suggests fifty thousand. That would make a total of seventy-five with last year's article. But my understanding is that we're giving last year's money. We're not touching that, so that's going back. Well, Plus, that seems too much to me. Does it go back if we don't spend it this year? No. Well, I think we have to. We have to. With, with, well, we well, forget about that for the yeah. moment. I, I thought we were pretty clear that what we are doing, the whole purpose of doing this RFP, was to get a number. That was my response to him, that so I, I thought I that they would be coming up with a number and that would be part of our decision process. So I would hope that we could have a placeholder warrant article as appropriate go in and in the ideal world put the number in 
before the before we send out the final. Yeah. Yeah. You have that, that until was early May, and even if we don't have a number, we, as long as we have it by town meeting. Yeah, I mean, I think we we all have the preference to have the number in and what gets mailed out so that everyone has it for consideration. Um, and then I guess the second issue, and that's more a question for for the selectmen and, and how you want to do it, is um, is to I guess we have to return that money with the warrant article. We have to remove it, or we have to use it as a funding source for I don't know procedurally. I thought we were going to do something fresh and just that get back some, the twenty-five thousand. Makes, makes more sense. I, I, I think it's just a function of whether it might not be available for a year. But um, well, I can we, start looking into. Yeah, you know, we that. can't really. I mean, it's, yeah. So, however, it makes sense um, because I don't think we. I mean, the same reason we had for using the twenty-five thousand now, or having difficulty using it because it's, it caught us up in a few places. Right. It caught us up right. early, and then it caught us up. Late. I don't think when they gave us the 25, they put a time limit on it, Dr. John. Or it should be. Right, it should still still be but, there. but it was for consulting and not design. Remember, there was that other issue right. that we had in the fall? But, yeah, but so we, we'd rather have the money to be able to be used as we need to use it mm -hmm. than to have 25,000 restricted in some way and then the other amount of money. Yeah. I mean, that just gets. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um, Maybe I'll put it on the agenda for Monday. We can discuss it. Maybe we should go to Alana and just see what she thinks is the right way. Just make it clean. You know. So do you want me to go to Alana? Or why don't we um, we'll we'll discuss put it, it on the Monday, agenda for Monday. Them. We'll vote it, and then one of us will go to Alana. Probably you, since. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So anyway, my response to Dale is that I thought uh, that's what some of the information we were getting from the consultant was, was for right, which we would get in, the job. We get in early April and then yeah. be able to look at that range of figures mm -hmm. and come up with a reasonable figure because you know I, I mean I hope it doesn't but if the if the bids that we get in for someone reasonable are 85,000 then that's what we need to put in right uh, we need we need to do this right and get it done right so that everybody has the information we have and we have the plans that we need to do to be able to move forward Okay. Thank Actually, you. that'll be on the agenda anyway for Monday, and we just bring it on Monday. Um, I agree with you totally. I mean, that's money. As long as we choose wisely, that's money well spent. I mean, that, that's that's the, the ratio of um, uh, the multiplier on good information: a um, thousand dollars saving ten thousand dollars, or ten thousand saving a hundred. And it's still part of that. I mean, you, you can do it this way where you're going to do part of it up front, or you can do it all in the one project. It's the money still spent, you know? It's just that you're trying to get sort of all the pre-work done, and then when you want to build a building, you then have everything, and you go, yes, okay, the RFP, here it is, this is what we want, and then you can start building, rather mm -hmm. than running around saying, well, what do we want? Mm -hmm. Chief, you had something? Uh, you know, let them respond and tell me them uh, frequent flyers that returned from the last Again, when I when I emailed him back, I asked that, um, and he, he hasn't gotten back to me. So, because I knew we that we there was some that we liked over others. So. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, um, looks to me the only thing left on the agenda is to ask if there's any other business we haven't dealt with, and then um, we have our next meeting scheduled for next Wednesday at six o'clock. Um, we can talk about more questions. We can hopefully get an idea on the consultants. And if any of you have any other agenda items, please be sure to let me know. And I assume if the agenda's late, we'll, we'll move it to the next. I mean, if Mo it depends when Mod Space is coming back in. And, and I mean, Mod Space won't be in before April. We're just looking for the end of April. But we could actually just hold off then, but because those I, are the only two items. I think it makes sense to keep it for now and then make the decision based on okay. what it looks like. Yeah. You know, I mean, if, if they're not coming into the end of April and we're not going to have the, you know, we're not going to have the stuff back from the consultants until early April either, then mm -hmm. they might have a buy. But what's the last date that uh, someone has the chance to respond to the RFP? Thought it was a week from today. Is it two weeks? Two weeks from today. Two so. weeks. Yeah. So that puts us. Maybe we should get together April right 6th. after that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, two weeks from today is the 30th. Yeah. March, so. 
So yeah, I mean, we would we would definitely want to meet on April sixth to talk about that and f figure out a number and mm -hmm. and have the subcommittee meet maybe prior to to look at them because if they, right. they're going to happen until the thirtieth, maybe we can get together before the yeah sixth and, and, and have some type of decision yeah. ready for the sixth. Alrighty, so. So March base can't come until April sixth. Well, until April. Yep. And after talk, and I'll be out of town for two weeks in April, out of country. I think Pauline will be. Yeah. What does that mean? It means he's not going to be here to listen to you. That's what it means. You, you can uh, hold the meeting. I can log on and follow you on online. But we're trying to nail it down either April 6th or the 26th, I think it was, to uh, first Wednesday and last Wednesday in April. I'll be in Ireland. Good for you. You could have just said that. <laughs> All right, I'm coming with you. Um, <coughs> if we're going to get to, subcommittee is going to get together uh, for the 6th. And maybe talk consultant, and it'd be nice to have a lot of space coming at the same time if we can get them there the first week of April. That way, we, if, because I think we should talk to mod space prior to choosing a consultant and see what they have to say to help us along to part of that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to pick a consultant for Well, we're not going to pick the consultant yet because yeah, we have no money. I know. So <laughs> it, it, we, would, we would definitely be able to get that input because we wouldn't pick the consultant until, until after the May town meeting and the money's been appropriated and then they wouldn't be able to start until July 1st. Yeah. So we have They're coming in first. So. They will be, yeah, if they come in in April at all, that will give us plenty of time to get the input that we would make to look at that. So is there a meeting next week? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no. So you got me confused too. <laughs> I would think at this point it's probably less likely than not, but I don't know that we want to just scratch it off without make, you know, seeing where, where we are on Monday okay. or Friday even, whatever. All right. So as it is, we'll, we'll leave it scheduled. If I don't hear from anybody, yeah. um, I will not post the meeting, and I'll let you all know that. Right, because it's likely that there won't be any new information. Okay, I'll entertain a notion, motion. To adjourn. To adjourn. Second motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That was a good evening. Motion to adjourn the Board of Selectmen? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 A